going to demonstrate turning on my deck lights using an Amazon Dash button. To turn the lights on and off directly, I'm using a CanCun Smart Outlet. It has a, a Wi-Fi module built in and then just turns the uh, lights on and off. The most interesting part about this, besides its low price of about $20, $24, is that it has a Unix-like, probably a Linux, operating system that is not very secure. So it has a TI module for wireless and it runs an operating system and web page server in it that you can secure shell into it and add in a CGI script that is connects it to the relay which turns the lights on and off allowing you to have another computer, another device direct in. And then the Amazon Dash button. It's based upon an STM32 chip chipset and it has a Wi-Fi module built in and when it normally what happens when you push the button is that it scans for the uh, Wi-Fi networks it knows does a DNS lookup using Google's DNS servers of 8.8.8.8 to look for the Amazon server and from there it transfers some data. What people have figured out is that you can use scripts to check for the ARP registration on the network and otherwise not con finish configuring the button. So when you see the ARP packet of life for this particular MAC address, you know this button has been pushed and is on. And from there you trigger the next step. I had some trouble using the scripts that were out there. They, they were Python based and they were not working with my OS 10 box. But I found it was just easier to use straight C and the lib pcap library, which all their Python scripts were based on anyway, so it's a lot smaller and it just dumps the the uh, MAC addresses that it sees that are new or interesting and then a uh, Node.js monitors that output and if it sees a MAC address it it toggles whatever is going on. Well, let's demonstrate this. There you have it.